guys welcome back to another video uh today's video is quite simple i have a simple job to do today um, adding five sockets and a few spare to the existing ring and um, actually this house i mean it's a small house and there's a living room and there's a dining room and um, so the i've been asked to um, add a few sockets to the house and it's not going to be a day deal it'll be part of the um, main ring downstairs so um, the room I'm in now is the front lounge and um, so this is where the chimney is so he wants a double socket on the top I think they'll put a TV or something like that there and there's going to be another one just uh, over there this is the existing ring uh, the socket on this wall and this is the forward I'll be able to lift and make my connections and just here in this room on this wall, I've got, I've got to put two sockets. I've already marked out one over there and one here. So I've already marked both of them out. Um, I'll be chasing the wall and put in a back box and drill into the floor and take the cable that way. And also um, inside the kitchen, there's a socket on the top, but there's no feed for the washing machine. So he wants me to add a uh, feed for the washing machine, but I'll be doing that uh, with a few spare. So it's controlled by the fuse bit because there's a washing machine going on going inside here. They said I've marked out um, where the sockets are going. So I've got my grinder, I'll cut them out and I'll leave some floorboards in this room and it'll be part of the existing ring. Okay, so um, I managed to get the cable in here um, to the floor, um, if you can see. This is the um, way I had to get the um, wire inside from the other room. It was quite hard drilling in and then trying to bring it in in an angle. But anyway, I managed to get it in and um, I had to take the scaring board out. So I'll put the bit of trunk in here and um, I'm going to put tackle with the trunk in. So I'm going to make sure the trunk is um, nice and secure here. So before I do that, I'm just going to pull one of them in. Um, and hopefully that'll hold it. Oh, I need to drill it. Put the wall plug in. And then I've got my back box, uh, got the grommet on as well. So I'm just going to feed the wire cable through and try and get it in. That's nice and flush, and also I've got my marker, it's really useful then, I love using them, get them up from Amazon, uh, it's brilliant, so now I'm going to do two more holes. Make sure the and then screw goes in to secure it. So, 
out. Just hold that up. There you go. So it's nice and secure now. So the skating board can go back in now. So I'll show you close up. So this is what I've done. It's nice and plumb as well, it's nice and straight and um, it's secure. It's flush with the wall and that's gone in quite nicely. So uh, now I've got to do the other one on that side. Hello guys, I just managed to finish off wiring the sockets. I thought it would be, um, it would be a straightforward couple hour job but it turned out to be a nightmare uh, fitting the wire through the wall and the angle of the drill um, because it's a uh, brick wall uh, and I had to literally um, go in into the other room where I can lift the floorboard but anyway I uh, got there at the end and the the plaster on the wall um, they're crumbling away at the same time but anyway the, he's got a plaster who's coming uh, probably tomorrow and they, they'll um, plaster all this put some bondings in that so anyway, so this is what I've done. Um, this is the one of the sockets that I've actually put in. And what I meant by drilling, um, I had to take the skating board out and then drill it into, this is a brick wall and it's only a single wall. But I had to go into the floor, which is this floor here. So this side, um, there's a, a space underneath the floor. But this is all concrete here. And because the angle of it, uh, it made it quite hard fitting the cable through. So this one here, while I was um, chasing the wall, see it's, uh, it's cracked and it just came off. But anyway, um, that can be just bonded and uh, finished off. And um, so what I did in this room, I had to lift the floorboard and bring the cable in through this hole here and there's a joist which made my life a lot harder because of the angle of it um, but I managed to get her in, it took me a bit of time and then from here I've actually gone through this hole into this socket on the other side and I was going to do a part of a ring um, a downstairs ring but what I've noticed is that um, there's no cable um, under the floor, it's actually going along the wall and then going up so I didn't want to break the wall because of the consumer units only on the corner um, I might as well just do a new ring um, so these are all wired in and then I had to bring the cable in and this is what I had to do because uh, there used to be a old fireplace here which they've to to uh, took out and they wanted a socket there and another socket on the top but um, I had to break the floor, chase the floor, uh, it's more than 50 mil so it, once it's all concreted it should be fine um, as you can see there's a lot of um, it's quite deep actually um, it'll be sand and cemented and this is a socket here I put in yeah I could have put this here and then fit the cable through that way but because I've got a long run and I've just gone in this way and this is the, the socket that I put in on the top. So guys, if this is against the regs, um, please do comment because I say this is going to be concreted over. I don't think anyone will be drilling the floor and there's no reason for it to. Um, also, this one here, um, because it's coming in at the side, right? If it's against the regs, do comment. And... So what I've done here, at the, it actually comes in through the floor and then this is the cable for it and the consumer unit is only here so it's an easy run from there to there So guys, um, it's getting a bit late uh, I've been here for a couple of hours now so it's time to go home, um, tidy my stuff and um, go Anyway, thank you for watching, um, thank you for uh, subscribing, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, thank you guys.